in artificial intelligence, the race has just begun. It's, uh, it's uh, when people say that the race is between uh, United States and China uh, and take this very binary approach, to my mind, it's a totally wrong analysis. In the world of innovation, rarely, rarely has a race been won by the first mover. So if you look at uh, uh, the first, uh, uh, you know, uh, laptop, Clive Osborne developed it, but he, they, they went bust. And uh, similarly, look at uh, Alta Vista, which did the first search engine. They didn't succeed. It was finally Google which took over. So the, you have to, the race will, AI will be won by those who do smarter innovation, who do uh, disruption at a scale, and uh, which democratize technology for citizens. Right now, you have in US, which is a very high-tech, proprietary closed models, totally proprietary closed models at very high cost. And in China, you have uh, you deep sea doing it, but at the behest of the state. So you will have to have a model which will be nimble, which will be cost effective, which will be less energy consuming, and which can then enable AI to transform lives of citizens. How do you improve learning outcomes? How do you improve health outcomes? How do you improve nutrition? So that it has a huge impact across citizens and is able to then transform lives of people across. And that is what AI is meant for. AI is for social good. AI is for responsible transformation. And that, to my mind, only India can do.